Shout out to my peeps over at Bonsai Vapor. Hello my lovely vapies, welcome back. Today's video is all about the Cubis Atomizer by Joytech. Welcome back. So today I'm looking at the new Cubis Atomizer by Joytech. I've had this for a while. This review is coming in a little late, but I just actually watched some other reviews on it and found out that it, it needs a review. It's so cool. So I'm excited to show you guys this atomizer. Here is the box it comes in. I do have the cuboid box mod, but that will be for a later review. Here's what it comes with. You have some interesting little warnings, user's manual, warranty cards. Then you have the tank, two extra atomizers, and a spare glass drip tip. So it comes installed with a 0.5 ohm 316 stainless steel coil and a and down here you have a 1 ohm stainless steel coil also 316 stainless steel and a 1.5 Clapton coil so the stainless steel coils can be used in wattage or temperature mode but the Clapton coil you need to use only in wattage mode this you can get this whole little kit for it for 20 around $20 depending on where you shop and I will leave a link below to where you can get it if you're interested in checking it out for yourself so here is the tank itself you see it says Joytech and Cubis. It is a 22 millimeter diameter with a 510 that is not adjustable. It holds 3.5 milliliters of e-liquid. Now you see where that max fill line is. Oh my god, just wait. Let me show you. It is so cool. So from thread base to drip tip tip top, it is 60 millimeters tall. This also comes in black and the drip tip is insulated and removable. I'll show you guys the other drip tip. Oh my goodness. It's removable, but it's freaking stuck on there good and tight. Here is the other drip tip that it comes with. And there's what it looks like installed, and I love clear drip tips, so I'm going to stick with that one. This is a top fill design, and check this out. So I showed you guys the max fill line. You remove the top, and the entire chimney and coil come out. So it has the cup design which is what they are saying calling it so oh my god that is so cool super simple to fill and all you have to do is fill to that line do not fill above that line otherwise when you put the coil and the chimney and the top piece back on you're going to get some spillage so that is just so neat i think omg that is so cool and to change the coil you would just spin the coil off of the chimney Ta-da! Just like that. All right, so let's fill this tank up and see how it vapes. It does recommend that you put five drops on the coil head. So I'm wearing my Bonsai shirt, so I'm going to be filling it up with my Bonsai Vapors Milk Plus, which is a milky caramel flavor. Oh, it's so good. So let's go ahead. One, two, three, four, five. Five drops on the coil head. And I thought you guys might want to see how cool it is to fill up. So I'll go ahead and show you. There is the max fill line and we'll go ahead and fill it up. Oops, oops. Not very successfully, I might add. Now obviously it's a lot easier to fill this up because there's a huge, it's just messy because I'm trying to hold it in the camera and, and film at the same time, but I'm about to put that in there. And so you can see the little slots where the juice wicks up. And see, when you put that in there, it fills up the tank a little bit more. Now my tank's all slippery from the Eli Quad. That wasn't very successful. <laughs> I tried, guys. We tried. All right, I have it to top my lava box, and I'm really excited to try this out. I've never really super fallen in love with a Joytech atomizer. The only like Joytech atomizer thing that I really, really liked were the Ego One Minis. Otherwise, I feel like they kind of might fall behind in the coil game, only because I think Inakin has the best coils, and then Kanger, and then Aspire, and so on and so forth. But that's just my personal opinion. So here we go. Holy crap, clouds, bitch. So this 316 stainless steel atomizer can be used in wattage mode or temperature mode. 
I prefer to vape in wattage. It's best for between, you know, 25 and 35 watts, depending on what you like to vape. I've got it right in the middle at 30 watts, which is my like personal preference for most 0.5 ohm coils and you can see it is chucking the vapor and it has a good flavor I love my milk plus flavor and so I use that pretty much when testing out any new tank or atomizer because I know what it's supposed to taste like and I know how good it can taste with good coils and I'm getting an excellent flavor from this Holy clouds, like holy crap. I really like how the juice flow holes are right at the bottom of the atomizer. That way you can like vape this tank all the way down to nothing and it's still gonna wick up, but you obviously wanna keep it kind of filled. I mean, it is an easy super fill. I'm definitely going to continue to, hang on, sorry. I'm definitely going to continue to use this tank just cause I wanna see how it does and I really am liking that fill design that I have, the cup. If you want to see a one month update, comment below. If I get enough requests, I can definitely make that happen because I really want to kind of just do it anyway. Like even if you guys don't want to see a one month update, I kind of want to do it anyway since it's one of the first of its kind with the whole chimney and atomizer coming out. Kind of like the Aura Mini kit that I reviewed. It has a tiny little tank and the whole thing comes out. It's a top fill just like this, but these coils by far are better than that. No matter what I do, I can't blow vape rings. <laughs> oh well. Someday. They practice all the time. I really think the black would look so good on this black lava wax, like the black on black. I only have the stainless steel one, but I think that would look so good. I wonder if the black cubist has stainless steel lettering or white lettering because it's black on this one. Dang, this is just performing A1 right now. Reasons why I want to do a one month update, I want to see like how much of a juice guzzler it is, like you know how long the coil lasts. I also want to see like how what kind of spit back it has because it does have that spit back screen guard like the iSub coils and the flavor to it. I really want to see how this does because so far I'm pretty impressed and I like I said I'm not usually super overly impressed with Joytech atomizers in the past. But yes, let me know if you want to see a one month update because that's it for my first look review of it. I will link below where you can get this atomizer for yourself if you're interested. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more reviews. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram or Twitter. I also have a Facebook page. I also have a second YouTube channel where I like to upload completely random videos of whatever I feel like. So if you want to see more of me that's not vaping related, you can check out that channel. All those links will be below and one more thing before you go if vaping is something you're passionate about please consider joining kasa.org and fight for your right to vape so as always i'm tia vapes and thank you so much for watching i'm pretty impressed like i didn't think i was going to be that impressed but you know what i might just have to get the black one so it can be matchy matchy